in this video tutorial I am going to design this offset shaft in SOLIDWORKS 2018 so go to sketch open the sketch and for the sketch plane I am going to select this right plane and draw a circle starting from the origin and dimension this circle 0 0.6 I'm going to add some tolerance and precision. And this is 0 0.005. And then exit the sketch. Go to normal, isometric view, and features. Extrude this circle. And the extrusion depth is 6.50. Check the green mark and zoom to fit. Now I am going to open a sketch on the front plane to draw a cut, select the front plane and start the sketching on the front plane and go to normal view. Just zoom it little bit and I am going to draw a rectangle and select the corner rectangle. Start the first point from this edge of that shaft. Okay, and then just dimension it to predefine it. So this dimension is 0 0.50. This dimension is 0 0.063, and this dimension is also 0 0.063. Or you can add the equal relation. Then go to line and select the center line and draw center line from the mid and draw horizontal line and exit the sketch. Go to isometric view and now we needed to add the feature revolve cut and as you see this preview is telling us this cut will be made with the reference of this line this center line which we draw and here axis of revolution this center line is selected and we needed a full cut of 360 degree the mark. so this first draw, first cut is draw now I am going to add some reference plane to add another first point I am going to first reference I am going to select this plane okay and it's telling us that direction we needed to uh, change the direction to the other side and add the offset distance so I am going to add inch and under other direction now it will you see it's in that direction if I uncheck it it will be in that direction we wanted that this plane on this direction so click on offset plane this plane is added but now we needed to open the sketch on this plane the plane we just draw it so I'm going to select this plane and open the sketching on this plane. Now we needed to we needed to draw two circles because we wanted the same cut like here in, in this position. So we can also add this uh, circles and then like uh, extrude cut, or we can also click on convert indentities. And I'm going to select this edge. And this edge this both circle will appear in on this plane because our uh, sketch plane is this so everything which we draw or convert from anywhere it will appear on that plane so click OK as you see and click the 
exit sketch now i am going to extrude cut and extrude cut this cut 0 0.063 this will be make a cut like that now i am going to hide this plane click on that plane and from here i am going to hide it now i am going to move to next feature sketch open the sketch on this face and make it normal and then I'm going to add a polygon like that and then just dimension this uh, polygon I want it this line like this line I wanted it horizontal and then extrude cut and depth of this cut is 0.5 and we wanted this cut outside like uh, uh, the cut will remove the material outside of that sketch this sketch will remain as it but the outside material will be cut so I am going to select flip side to cut as you see this this uh, this polygon will remain as it and the outside material is removed you can do that by uh, clicking on the, the uh, flip side cut and now we need it to the material for this shop I'm going to add it the material and the you can select the required material on it so I'm going to select the bone stainless steel apply okay so the offset shop is completed it's very easy thank you so much please guys subscribe my channel and like my videos and share it with your friend